where is Anthony Morris? That's been the question for several months now among current and former Jehovah's Witnesses. By the way, hello, I'm Phil. You're watching the Blue Envelope channel. So as most of you watching probably know already, Anthony Morris was a member of the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses from his appointment to that position in 2005 until a few months ago when a notice on JW.org tersely announced that as of February 22, 2023, Anthony Morris was no longer serving as a member of the governing body. Now, the notice was only up for a couple of days, which I think has left many current witnesses in a lot of confusion as to whether it was legit or whether it was there at all. I can confirm it definitely was there. This is a screenshot I grabbed myself about it. And in the months since then, the organization has been slowly deleting or editing out videos on JW.org, which featured Anthony Morris. So a confirmation there. So that brings us up to date. And to cut to the chase, Tony and Susan Morris are living in Lumberton, North Carolina, as has been speculated about. So about four weeks after that announcement on JW.org, uh, we find this real estate document dated March 28th, 2023. And what it describes here is a house, actually a townhouse being purchased in Lumberton, North Carolina. It's being purchased from the developers called the Mid-South Investment Group. And the purchasers or grantees are three parties here. Anthony Morris III, Susan Morris, and the Religious Order of Jehovah's Witnesses. And the address there is Watchtower Farms. As the uh, document points out, this is a life estate for the Morrises. And down a little further, it explains what this means. Basically, that uh, Anthony and Susan can live on that property as long as they're living or until they move away. And at that time, as it says, then his or her life estate shall automatically terminate. And when both life estates have so terminated, Religious Order of Jehovah's Witnesses shall own the property in fee simple. And just to mention, I've kind of blocked out some of the address information here, um, not to dox anyone. Although that being said, these are public documents that anybody can look up. Okay, and this is the house that um, the Morrises are living in now. So it's sort of a duplex there. If we look on Zillow, it has a little more information about the property. Although the picture is the wrong property. So it mentions it was built in 2022. It's a two bed, two bath house, uh, 1,585 square feet. Uh, it's interesting. So the house was built in December and put up for sale. Um, and we can see there the date for pending sale was March 7th. So just uh, about two weeks after that announcement on JW.org that Tony Morris was off the governing body. And then it, the uh, sale closed on April 13th here and the property was 249 basically $250,000. I didn't see any mortgage paperwork on the county website, so evidently the organization paid cash for the property. You'll note that in the garage of the townhouse is a white Cadillac sedan, which might remind you of the white Cadillac sedan that Anthony Morris was driving in the Bottlegate video, which can be found on Lloyd Evans' channel. I'm not enough of a caddy expert to say if it's the exact same white Cadillac that was in that video. The thing that jumped out to me, however, was the uh, license plate on the Cadillac, which, although it's blurred out, you can definitely see it's a New York plate, which would make sense if the folks in this place had just recently moved from New York State. You can see the date on this uh, photo is May 2023. Now, why Lumberton, North Carolina? Well, as we know, Lumberton has a history for the Morris family. As I've discussed in past videos about the Morrises, uh, they took care of Susan's parents until their deaths in New England there. Uh, her mother was the last to pass away in 1986. And uh, it appears that the following year, the Morrises moved where the need was great. And so we find them in North Carolina in 1987, uh, mainly in rural areas outside Fayetteville, North Carolina. So we'll see towns like Clinton, Shannon, and Lumberton pop up in their records. Around the time that both their boys graduated high school, uh, Tony and Susan sold their house in Lumberton. And uh, if he hadn't already been serving as a substitute circuit overseer in Rhode Island, it's during this time in North Carolina that Tony 
begins working as a substitute circuit overseer and then eventually is appointed as a full-time circuit overseer uh, during his time in North Carolina. So the family lived in the Lumberton area for roughly eight years or so, and it was essentially their last permanent address before the circuit work. Uh, there is a Kingdom Hall in Lumberton, and presumably that's where the Morrises are assigned to go to that hall. I'm not sure whether there's more than one congregation or not. Now, one interesting thing to note is that this wasn't the only townhouse that the organization bought that day. They also bought a second townhouse down the street. So this is a the document from that townhouse purchase, again dated March 28th. The grantee is, again, the Religious Order of Jehovah's Witnesses. So this is the listing for that second townhouse they bought, and almost identical to the other one they bought, again, for 250,585 square foot, two bed, two bath townhome. And the dates match as well. We can see that March 7th, again, was the um, date they started closing on this property, uh, same as the other one, and just a couple weeks after that announcement about Tony Morris being removed from the governing body. So it's just kind of interesting to ponder, why would they buy a second townhouse just down from where the Morrises live? And I can think of a number of reasons, some rather nefarious and some rather good-hearted, so hard to say. Okay, I think that brings us up to date on all the uh, new information we have about the Morrises. Again, feel free to check out, I have a bunch of videos on the channel about the history and life of uh, Anthony Morris and his family. So, what do you think? Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you like to, and uh, we'll catch you all in the next video. Take care now.